Hi, welcome to Three Questions with after my buddy Mark Mendoza with us. Hey, Mark, welcome to the show. Hey, Kevin, good to be here. Thanks for having me. So, Mark, give us a little overview about your business. Sure, my business is Mark Mendoza Photography. I'm a commercial photographer, and I do business with um, all sorts of companies uh, up and down New England. I specialize in product photography, lifestyle, and product application photography, and uh, as well as food photography. I also do a little bit of um, corporate headshots and architectural photography. So it's a wide range, but uh, the focus is definitely um, B2B companies. It's really interesting, Mark, because I have to admit, I didn't give any thought to photography for the longest time. And when you come across, especially product, you know, food product especially, that's shot correctly, you look at it and go, I want to eat that. Versus, you know, someone trying to do it themselves, the lighting's wrong, it just it doesn't do it justice. It really is a big deal, right? Right. Yeah, well, so food photography is definitely a specialty. So um, I've had clients come to me and say, you know, I, I, I had this product, uh, this food product to shoot, and I knew this guy, and he shot weddings and events, mm -hmm. and I asked him to come do this, and it didn't work out. Uh, and that's because the guy who does weddings and events is probably good at doing weddings and events, and that's about it. Product is very, very different, and within that, food is is even more specialized. So if you don't have experience and, and the knowledge to do food, um, chances are you're not gonna do a very good job. So uh, my suggestion is always, you know, check out the portfolio, make sure that, that, that uh, this photographer has whatever it is that you're looking to shoot or something similar, right? If you're looking to shoot food, make sure they have plenty of samples of good, good food. Uh, if it's, um, you know, some kind of industrial product, say, uh, make sure that they have something that shows that they have knowledge of that. Um, if it's if it's lifestyle stuff, it's make sure they have experience going into industrial environments or office environments, corporate environments, working with people and groups, working in uh, could, what could be a somewhat rough environment. I've been to I've been to steel mills and, and gas fields and you know on boats and, and all kinds of things so uh you know make sure that the person that you're looking to hire has all this experience so the portfolio becomes very important it's proof of what the photographer is capable of you bring up a great point mark because i find that many of my friends go out to buy a really nice camera really nice camera right but it's not that simple you still have to know how to capture the shots you know um, one of the things you brought up was corporate headshots you know, we've all seen really great headshots and we've all seen some that could be better. And that's your brand, you know. Um, unfortunately, we still live in a world where people judge us, you know. So I see the picture, I'm like, geez, he looks like a really friendly guy. I want to do business with him. So it's, it's not just as simple as pulling your phone out of your pocket and shooting a selfie and throwing it on LinkedIn. Right? Well, God knows the, the technology is there, right, with every phone that comes out. We just ordered new new iPhones. Should be mm -hmm. in the mail soon, and we're excited. But um, with you know, technology is there. That's not the problem. The problem is having the skills, the know-how. And if 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 this isn't your job, you know, trying to do it yourself is going to cause all kinds of problems. Just like if I tried to do something, you know, surgery <laughs> <laughs> for a drastic example. Obviously, uh, that would be silly. But um, you know, there's a lot of marketing people where they just don't have the time. I mean, I used to work in marketing. I used to work in the marketing department for 17 years. I know marketing managers and these people, they just, they just have no time. So and that's one thing. And so a lot of, sometimes they may try to patch holes by hiring an intern or, or, or refocusing another low level marketing person and say, here, go, go see what you can do. Like, here's a box and see if you can shoot. You know, it, it, it rarely comes out looking very well. And look, this is your brand. You said it, right? Your brand. It, it, it's all about brand and, and brand matters. And, and think of all the money and time and energy you spend on your brand to, then to turn around and to give the photography to a, uh, you know, a DIY, an intern person uh, is, is not really treating your brand the way you should. And, and it's the, the, your brand image is not going to project very well. So it's always, uh, it's always best to, to look for somebody who's experienced in, in product photography and that can really make your, your brand shine. So Mark, how can people reach out to you? How can they learn more? 
Uh, like I said, the best place uh, is to check out my site. It's uh, www.markmendozaphoto.com. And uh, I'm also on uh, Facebook and uh, a little bit on Instagram and LinkedIn. So Mark, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to jump on a show with us. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Thanks, Kevin.